the telltale signs of toxic positivity. If you see a one-gallon jug containing half a gallon of water, how do you view it? Is it half full or half empty? The answer to that question is used in the most basic psychological tests to reveal how you look at the world. The person that sees the gallon container as halfway to being full is supposedly a positive thinker. The opposite is true for the person who believes the container to be half empty. Your opinion could be different depending on your attitude, recent experiences, and several other variables. Even so, it brings to mind the question of positive thinking versus a more negative outlook. Most people will tell you positive thinking is the way to go. It's the path to success. Think positively always, and the world will bend to your will. While a lot of good things come from a positive attitude, totally embracing positivity even when life is difficult isn't always the best choice. You might suffer from toxic positivity if you believe you should act positively no matter how dire, dangerous, or demanding your current experience is. Here are a few signs that your mental well-being and other aspects of your life are negatively impacted by your rosy disposition. You ignore your problems. Think positive and positive things will happen to you. This is the advice of so many self-help gurus. They encourage you to never give in to negative emotions. The problem with this way of thinking is it doesn't allow you to solve the many problems that will pop up in your life. Ignoring negative experiences doesn't make them go away. You have to deal with them, learn from them, and move past them. Closing your eyes and thinking positively in the face of a hungry, charging lion probably won't lead to the best outcome. You develop guilt and self-resentment. Toxic positivity doesn't allow you to recognize the full scope of human emotions. You realize you're sad about something, so immediately chastise yourself. You're disappointed about something and immediately feel guilty for those negative feelings. You can never be your truest and most fulfilled self without embracing the reality of your emotions and becoming stronger by working through them. You minimize and downplay the feelings of others. Your constantly positive attitude makes you feel uncomfortable around people experiencing negative emotions. No one wants to spend time around somebody who downplays their feelings. You disguise how you really feel. Putting on a false face makes you a lie to the world. It also lets debilitating stress build up instead of letting it out by processing less than favorable emotions. There are a lot of signs that toxic positivity is present. Sometimes we act that way to ourselves and sometimes to others. It's often unintentional. Even when it's not a purposeful action, it can be so damaging. Keep your eyes open for the signs of toxic positivity we just covered. Whether you see them in yourself or others, try to change that way of thinking or simply remove yourself from the situation. Toxic Positivity, The New Gaslighting Gaslight is a 1944 film about a man trying to convince his wife that she's insane. The psychological thriller was so unsettling that it gave birth to the term gaslighting. According to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, this is the practice of causing someone to question their reality. The evil husband in the original Gaslight film uses trickery, deception, and emotional abuse to convince his wife that she has lost all touch with reality. The term wasn't widely used until the early 21st century. The American Psychological Association points out that gaslighting was once referred to manipulation so extreme as to induce mental illness or to justify commitment of the gaslighted person to a psychiatric institution, but is now used more generally. The term is considered more of a colloquialism rather than a clinical terminology. Applying Webster's definition, toxic positivity is the modern-day version of gaslighting. Toxic positivity ruins the human experience. The psychology group speaks of this relentless positive outlook as the dark side of the positive vibes trend. They define toxic positivity as the excessive and ineffective overgeneralization of a happy, optimistic state across all situations. Toxic positivity leads to the denial, minimization, and invalidation of the authentic human emotional experience. It often happens because the people that care about you want to help. They see you experiencing some negative emotions. They heard that you lost your job or are dealing with the death of a loved one. They want to help. They hate seeing you incapable of getting over the experience. They will often respond with an overdose of positivity. They feel that the best way to get you past this negative life event is to flood you with positive advice and experiences. Without knowing it, they're gaslighting you. The problem is that this can be so debilitating to the unwitting victim. It encourages ignoring life's difficulties. 
toxic positivity preaches engaging in positive thinking every minute of every day, regardless of what reality is presented to you. If you begin to follow the advice, you could feel ashamed or guilty for having any negative feelings. Mental health researcher June Gruber says people who report extreme happiness often run a greater risk of falling victim to mental illness and disease. They engage in more risky behavior than others. Toxic positivity can ruin relationships because the person presenting the positive-at-all-costs mindset can be deemed insensitive or dismissive. A person can become ill-prepared for hard times when they fail to accept and deal with harsh reality. The negative effects of toxic positivity are often unintentional. You're just trying to help. Having a positive mindset can certainly be beneficial, but not when you adopt a fantasy version of what, in reality, is a negative situation that needs to be dealt with properly. Five Downsides to Toxic Positivity Do you suffer from toxic positivity? If you do, then you feel uncomfortable when dealing with negative emotions. Many of us do, but the toxically positive person is obsessed with thinking everything will be okay. A positive spin should be applied to all experiences. Here's a newsflash. All the thinking in the world won't pay your mortgage if you don't have any money. Toxic positivity is a sort of reckless optimism that can damage so many areas of your life. The mind-over-matter approach doesn't always create the desired outcome. Dealing with grief, trauma, or negative emotions is vital to your mental health and well-being. To understand how damaging positivity poison can be, consider these negative side effects of a toxically positive outlook. 1. You never see the bus that's about to hit you. Toxic positivity is an absolute refusal to face reality when things don't go your way. It's equivalent to standing in traffic when a bus is about to hit you. You can refuse the reality that something bad is about to happen, but that's not going to keep this from being a very bad day for you. 2. You develop optimism bias. This is a term that's pretty much a synonym for toxic positivity. This person has such an unrealistically high level of optimism under any circumstances that he believes he's immune to negativity. His positive outlook will be a bulletproof shield that allows nothing bad to touch them. If this person is a smoker, he might be well aware of the many health problems smoking can cause. His lack of concern because of his optimism bias can produce decades of smoking-related misery. 3. Optimism minus realism equals potential problems. Optimism is good. Untethered runaway optimism without a realistic view of potential problems is a recipe for disaster. Keeping a positive viewpoint while accepting the reality of any situation is a good idea as long as the positivity doesn't lead to ill-advised behavior. 4. Unbridled optimism is not a magic pill. Imagine that you have all the knowledge in the world. Then you sit back and do nothing. Knowledge can be very powerful, but not if you take no action. You also must act on reality rather than an ambitiously positive and fantastical view of a situation. All the positive thinking in the world won't act as a magic bullet to cure your ills. You must take smart action grounded in reality based on preparation and knowledge, not just wishful thinking. 5. A shorter lifespan. Medical data shows that most emergency room or doctor visits are stress-related. Did you know stress is linked to the six leading causes of death worldwide? Stress can be caused by hiding away negative feelings instead of dealing with them and getting them out of your system. That's the classic behavior of people who suffer from toxic positivity. Don't ignore your negative feelings. The problems in your life need to be handled instead of simply turning your back on them. Whether financial, emotional, or physical, you need to meet them head-on and with a realistic viewpoint rather than a potentially poisonous positivity that can cause more problems. Four Ways to Defeat Toxic Positivity How can positivity be toxic? Can a positive person potentially poison themselves and others with a relentlessly upbeat outlook? How are you supposed to get over life's many difficulties if you don't adopt a positive attitude? Those are often questions asked by a person suffering from toxic positivity. This type of individual simply can't see reality if it's negative in nature. They adopt a can-do attitude no matter how terrifically difficult or potentially dangerous a situation is. They believe an optimistic approach to life can heal all ills and even prevent tragedy from appearing in the first place. This view of life through rose-colored glasses raises the risk of developing stress-related illnesses. This person ignores negative emotions and problems that need to be dealt with. There are plenty of negative side effects caused by toxic positivity. Here are four proven ways to keep this overly positive outlook from causing damage in your life. 
One, practice mindfulness. This is more than being objectively mindful and aware of your current situation. Take a few moments and think about how you're feeling. What's going on in your mind and in your body? Don't give voice to any particular thought or feeling. Just notice your present moment of existence. Don't judge any of your feelings. Acknowledge negative and positive emotions and then move on. This can help you realize that all feelings are equal and ignoring negative emotions can aggravate a difficult situation. Two, feel your feelings. Your emotions are yours. You're feeling them right now for a reason. It doesn't mean you're less of a man if you cry. You aren't less of a woman if expressing emotions is difficult for you. You are who you are, and your feelings are feelings. Recognize and process them without ignoring all but the happiest of emotions. 3. Is your positive view totally contrarian? If the whole world sees a situation one way and you disagree, you might be right. Establishing a new and controversial viewpoint has led to some of life's greatest discoveries. In many cases, it's toxic positivity refusing to let you deal with reality. 4. Be more childlike. Children don't hold back their feelings. They live life as naturally as possible. The youngest children allow their emotions to have a life. They don't respond to negative stimuli with positivity and vice versa. They experience life as their minds and emotions naturally respond. The first step to preventing toxic positivity is awareness. You realize a constantly positive outlook might be a problem, proven by the fact that you're reading this article. That's the first step to limiting your life with toxic positivity. Toxic Positivity versus Empowering Rational Optimism Look on the bright side. That's just one of the many pieces of advice that extol the power of positive thinking. Bad things will happen to you, there's no denying that. You can't always control your life experience. What you can control is your reaction to the event or situation. That simple five-word recommendation tells you to choose positive thinking rather than drowning in whatever negative emotions you experience when life doesn't go your way. That can be good advice. It can also be dangerous when taken to an extreme. Positive thinking is usually a good thing. The most successful people in the world will tell you they didn't get to where they are today by constantly thinking negative thoughts. The potential danger of this outlook is when it becomes a zero-sum game. This is called toxic positivity. There's no acceptance of painful or difficult experiences. Think positive. Keep going. No matter how tough your situation is, keep a positive mindset. Here are a few reasons why this toxic positivity, as opposed to the empowerment of rational positive thinking, can cause serious problems in your life. Toxic positivity ignores reality. Imagine you've fallen into a great hole. Invent any type of scenario that leads up to this eventuality, but the reality is you're at the bottom of a huge hole. You're in the middle of nowhere. Your well-intentioned date with Mother Nature has turned nasty. You can scream your head off, but no one will hear you. You console yourself that you had been walking on a nature trail when the ground gave way beneath your feet. Your toxic positivity says that someone will be by before long to rescue you. You know there are lions and tigers and bears, oh my, in the area. You understand this trail is not well-traveled. That's why you chose it. You wanted some alone time in the wilderness. You also didn't bring any water, food, or other provisions. Even still, you nestle down comfortably and await your inevitable rescue. The ignorance of your very dire circumstances could lead to your eventual demise, and in this situation, probably with a smile on your face. Choose positive and realistic thinking instead. The positive thinker says, I can get out of here. I know this might look like a difficult situation right now, but if I use my head and keep my wits, I can figure a way out. That person begins digging, climbing, and doing whatever he can to improve the situation. He thinks positively, but not unrealistically. He knows he had better aggressively attack the situation right away rather than just have a seat and hope for the best. We're not here to say that you should embrace negative thinking. That's just a quick path to a life full of self-doubt, failure, and resentment. We just want to alert you to the very real dangers of toxic positivity. You must embrace negative events and emotions, deal with them, and move on. Ignorance of reality or any negative situation you're in won't usually lead to the best possible outcome.